Hi there guys and welcome back to more of my series on rebuilding the Detroit Lions. You may be wondering why we are suddenly at uh, the 2021 season recap. Reason for that is that I played the entire season, went to edit it and uh, all of the footage had corrupted so consequently the first season is pretty much a write-off. You saw the best game in the game against the 49ers in week one. As you can see there the footage wasn't great and some of it corrupted. I've now changed my recording software and hopefully we're going to get somewhere with this. So let's have a look at who's got a year remaining on their contract. TJ Hawkinson is the only one that's Ooh, actually. Jamal Williams could be a player that we, uh, we could potentially get rid of. Let's see whether they would do that for their for their first round pick. <laughs> no, is the answer. Okay, there we go. Jamal Williams and we get a better we get Kukowski who I quite like, to be fair. He's only got one year left on his contract. But we can potentially uh, trade him for more. Here we go, we get rid of Jared Goff as well. Perfect. Another first round pick. So, who has the number one pick? About the second round pick for next year. There we go. We have the number one overall pick. <laughs> I do love to see it. Okay, so we know what we're doing and when we're doing it. The Lions on the clock now. What direction will they go? Make my selection. Of course. It is me. The Panthers now nice. on the clock. Hidden Dev, as expected. And there he is. It's our boy. He's... All right. It's now the Vikings' turn. Boom. They're Hidden Dev, Dev as well. Now, what do we do if we uh, trade away this? Okay. Buffalo are offering us a later first round pick and a second this year as well. Seems to benefit us most, I think. We've got some action here, folks. They've traded this pick. Okay, who have we got left? Who's still here? D'Angelo Franklin is still there, so we'll take him. D'Angelo Franklin, the hidden Titans dev as well. We'd love to clock. see it. And he's fast. Can we trade away the pick? What do we have? I want picks this year. Okay, Philly are offering us two picks in the next two rounds. We're going to pick up our guards now. Okay, Ooh. here we go. The Jets now on the clock. Okay. The Seahawks are on the God clock damn. now. Got some good picks in here. So, draft recap. Let's have a look at our rookies. That's me. Okay. So, we have 374 overalls. Jesus. A 72, a 70, and then a sixth round tight end. Not bad. Not bad at all. Free agents. Okay, we'll take T.Y. Hilton on a one year contract. That's all we'll need him for, hopefully. Ulysses Gilbert. Yes, actually, I really like him, so we'll sign him. He can potentially be re-signed as well. He's only 25. Okay, we'll sign Tavarius Moore as the backup at free safety. So, Sean Davis. He'll do. And that's the roster. That's at least given us some extra people. I think our aim this season needs to be at least seven wins. All right, it's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league and you'll be facing the Bears. What's the key to victory? Dominating offense. Make sure that we have a dominant passing game. 
press conference. Rookie quarterback one. Nathan Brown is making his debut this week, and we've seen in the past that it can be tough for rookies early on. What are you expect him to see? We just want him to be himself. There's definitely an expectation for him to make plays, but there's no need to put the world on his back already. Two passing touchdowns is what he needs. Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh, wow, okay. Already, we've got some big upgrades for this week. Well, we might as well just increase his strong arm. Makes him a 75 overall. We need to improve his route running, don't we, really? So let's uh, increase that. DeAndre Swift can be an elusive back. Again, well, training is complete. We may as well get into our first game. We start off on defense. We have been poor on defense most of last season. Really? Well, okay. We'll take that. I thought it was just going to be one shit first play and there we go turn of turn the ball over on the first play of the game all right i forget that hilton is now going to be the number one receiver first completion for brown gets 10 yards hawkinson with the reception it's Hawkinson with another reception, and he gets the first down. Another good completion, and we're driving. Swift with a good run upfield. I think he got about 14, 15 yards there. I'd love to see it. Back to the short pass now. There's Gilby with his first catch down to the three-yard line. That's the goal. <clears throat> Brian in motion. We're going to look to hit him in the flat. Well, no, we'll hit Hilton instead. Great catch. That's a good, good play from the outside linebacker. This Bears running game is pretty good, though. Ooh, what a play from Oruario. It's not the first time he's done that in this series, but you guys won't have seen the other ones because all the footage corrupted. There's Gilby with his next, with his second catch. Not a bad start for, for the two young guys. Uh oh, first sack taken for, for Brown. Not the first hit, but first sack taken. Shit. Block for me. No. Still fourth and one. I got 12. Let's do it. We're going to go for it. It's on the halfway line. Oh, it's picked off. That's a poor decision for me. But they have it immediately on the goal line. Completely backfired that decision, didn't it? Fumble. Woo. That could have been... That could have been excellent, but just doesn't doesn't quite go for us there. Ah, oh, why did that guy come off of him? Should have just that's that's annoying. We shouldn't have we shouldn't have uh, conceded that. There we go, another, another rush for more yards. It's a good run from Swift as well, that gets another eight yards. On 
Hawkinson, oh, sorry, Bryant gets himself open. There we are. 118 yards so far. We need a bit more. Hawkinson with a great catch. He's got to work his way towards the goal line. Gets down at the two. There's Hilton for his second touchdown. Brown's second touchdown. We love to see it. Get off me! How is... Right, okay. So... <laughs> Jamie Collins should be making that tackle. Instead he gets stiff-armed to hell by a guy tiny. That's absolutely tiny compared to him. Oh, we get there with the sack. There we go. Tracy Walker. And another sack. You'd love to see it. Oh, for <laughs> Christ's sake. I don't know how many times I've been sacked in this game. Shit. Just can't get anything going. I don't understand why this offensive line just can't do anything. It's been a terrible game. A terrible, terrible game. Not like the start of last season. That, however, would definitely do us some good. Nope. Good swap from Moralia. He's been so good this game. Beep, beep. Oh, fuck. This is bullshit. Wow. Wow. Okay. We just need to try and get some more yards and actually some, get some points on the board. The bad news, the good news. Plenty of time in this fourth quarter. To yes, try Swift getting six yards there. We'd love to see it. Here's Swift. Swift breaks a tackle and gets up to the 45. He's now over five yards a carry, or just about five yards a carry. As we come up on a first and ten. Hawkinson with a good catch. We all know the quarterback sneak will work, so we might as well get the first down here. And there we go. First down. Good block from Hawkinson. But Swift can't quite get, get... Can't quite break through the tackles. Swift doesn't quite get the uh, the first down, but we we can at least attempt to take the lead. And Gonzalez is going to be good from 41, puts us in the lead. I'm just glad we weren't burned. There we go, we... DeAndre Hand comes in for the sack. Potentially the last play in the game. Woo! Jesus Christ. It's incomplete. Uh, it's going to be a kneel out to win the first game of the season. Okay, so that is where we're going to leave episode two of my Detroit Lions rebuild. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave in a comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Detroit Lions rebuild, then please subscribe. And I will see you next time.